gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Though wise men at their end no dark is right, because their words had forked no lightning, they do not go gentle into that good night. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the night. If you are going to try, go all the way. Otherwise, don't even start. If you are going to try, go all the way. This could mean losing girlfriends, wives, relatives, jobs, and maybe your mind. Go all the way. Despite rejection and the worst odds, and it will be better than anything else you can imagine. Invent yourself, and then reinvent yourself. Don't swim in the same slough. Invent yourself, and then reinvent yourself. Be self-taught, and reinvent your life, because you must. It is your life, and its history, and the present, belong only to you. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you. If you can dream and not make dreams your master. If you can think and not make thoughts your aim. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are done and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them hold on if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue or walk with kings nor lose the common touch if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 40 seconds worth of distance run Yours is the earth and everything that's in it. Some stuff takes time. Greatness takes time. It takes time. It takes time to build your brand. It takes time to build your life. It takes time to build your career. You got to be prepared to get a thousand no's to get one yes. What will it take for you when others are quitting because of the rejections, when others are stopping because they just become so discouraged and they have creditors breathing down their neck and they have family members and friends telling them they're fool? What is it that will allow you to have the mental resiliency to keep on keeping on, to keep your commitment to your commitment, the will to do it? You want to surround yourself with people that are hungry. People that are hungry are willing to do the things today others won't do. In order to have the things tomorrow, others won't have. People that are hungry do what they know, not what they feel. You already know who you are. And that peace, that peace that we're after, lies somewhere beyond personality. So many of us choose our path out of fear disguised as practicality. What we really want seems impossibly out of reach and ridiculous to expect, so we never dare to ask the universe for it. I'm saying, I'm the proof that you can ask the universe for. Don't let anything stand in the way of the light that shines through this form. Risk being seen in all of your glory. You already have something special. What you're afraid of doing is working hard at it. You're afraid. And once you step up, 
and you stare at yourself in the mirror and know who the hell you are. And you fail, but you fail forward, and you learn, you put yourself in a better position to succeed, and then once you get a you know one level, then you go to the next one. See, a lot of people, they stay at that one level because it's comfortable. I'm fragile. I feel pain. I hurt. I open my eyes. I crave victory. I do not give up. I feel no fear. I fear no man. I create. I conquer. I hold power. Make a choice. Just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. We can't have another bad year. You've got to get to the point where enough is enough. This is kind of hard to understand, but sometimes you can try so hard at something. Sometimes you can be so, so prepared and still fail. And with every time you fail, it's painful. It causes sadness. So no matter how great the setback, how severe the failure, you never give up. You never give up. You pick yourself up, you brush yourself up, you push forward, you move on, you adapt, you overcome. That is what I believe. Everybody here, everybody watching, I won't be stopped. I can't be stopped. And on the other side of temporary pain, you meet your other self. It's much easier to come up with excuses why you can't do it. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. If you do what is easy, complain about your situation, your circumstances. You surrender and give up on your dreams. You become depressed and bitter and angry. Anybody can do that. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. You've got to change your strategies. And changing your strategy means reinventing your life. Recreating you. And you have the power to do that. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. I'm willing for people to laugh at me. I'm willing to gut this out. I'm willing to make this happen. It's my time. It's possible. It's necessary. It's hard. It's worth it.